So, good morning, you have caught me just at sunrise. So out here behind me, the sun is coming up, as you can see on the glow. And I'm photographing the trees here behind me. So this part here, and I'm using my 24-205. And I gotta admit, I brought this to England, Wales, my trip over here, because I figured we would do woodland photography, so I just want to have a lens which is optically a little bit better than my Tamron 28-200. to However, I gotta admit, I really, really miss the reach of my Tamron lens. But I think with this composition, all the way out at 105mm, I can of course put on the long lens, like 100-400, to 400. but for the most part, I think I think this one does get the job done. It's actually it's a very simple uh, little scene. So as you can see, I just have some trunks of some beautiful birch trees right here. And yeah, it's just a lovely morning. We had hoped for a little bit more atmosphere, but it does not seem as if we're going to get it. But nevertheless, still a beautiful forest. So if you're following along on my channel, you know I just visited Nigel Danson over in the UK. He was so nice as to show me one of his favorite forests where we went to photograph a sunrise. So we moved a little bit further on and Nigel has gone ahead. I've found this composition that I actually think I quite like. There's something about the change of colors from the red bracken here in front and then we have yellow and then greens of the silver birch is still and then we have like the trunks here so i actually quite like this composition try to to frame it up some somewhat like this here like f16 and then i just put the focus point a little bit behind the front tree that ought to get everything in focus even though i shoot at about 90 millimeter beautiful simple little shot would it have been good with some atmosphere? I think we do have a little bit of atmosphere, but but generally I... Eh, it's not bad, this. There's definitely something about the color gra gra gradation throughout the scene. Beautiful little scene. We moved a little bit further into the forest and I saw this scene and Nigel is debating with himself whether he likes it or not, but I like it. So have this birch tree down here and it's getting backlit and you can see how the sun is like coming in and I really like these backlit leaves here in this scene. So I've composed it more or less something like this here. You can see I'm shooting ISO 320 and that gives me a shutter speed of one fourth of a second at f16 because I want most of the scene to be in focus. And I actually think that this is this is such a nice little scene. And the light is really good at like silhouetting the trees, so you see the shapes there. Personally I'm 
Of course, like fog would be nice, but when you don't have fog, you have to use light instead. And I actually think this this works really well. Like, looks good. There's some depth in the scene, for sure, and and all the nice stuff. So when you don't have fog, like, I try to like use the light instead. Nigel is more on the reflected light stuff. I actually don't mind this. I, I like reflected light too, for sure. But here, there's a good distribution of the trees. I think I like it. I did like the photo from that angle I showed in the video, but a few meters further up the trail I got this one instead, which I like a bit more. Photographing in forests on mornings like these, finding compositions can be super hard. You don't have the fog to clean up and separate the foreground from the background, so you need to be extra aware on how the light influences the photo, what part of the scene your eyes are attracted to, balance and separation between the dark and light parts of the scene. If you struggle with composition and landscape photography and want to learn even more about it, my easy to read ebooks with loads of examples could be of interest to you. There are links in the description of the video and also a couple of light versions you can try first to see if the full versions are something for you. So Nigel is so kind to show me around in, in his forests here. And we have come to this absolutely gorgeous old oak tree that what do you call it Nigel? Groot. Groot and for a good reason like it kind of looks as if it's like standing there so I'm trying to like figure out how to to place all these beautiful oaks I have the light coming in here from the left which looks really nice and then we have pebbles sitting just on the between Groot legs right there it looks actually really nice and then another thing is that for some reason, like our front elements has really started to to get some fog on them, fogging up. Uh, and why do we have a word that is so close to fog, fog? Go misty, Fog yeah. fogging up. We say. It's fogging up. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I'm thinking of another word when we say that. But, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but it's, it's a really nice scene, and I think this works really, really, really well. So ISO 100, F16 gives me right now a shutter speed of one third of a second. But as you can see, like, <laughs> the screen is super, super misty, which I actually think gives a nice effect. So it's not all bad, but uh, yeah, I like it. It was such a lovely morning and while Nigel and Pebble stayed back, I continued through the forest and found a few more compositions.
photos I got this morning didn't require a whole lot of editing, but I did have to manage some flaring and of course also both sharpen the photos and see whether I could add a bit more atmosphere and glow. These techniques along with so many many more are all some I cover in my huge post-processing course Photoshop for Landscape Photographers. 19 plus hours of learning landscape photography editing that ought to take you from a beginner to an advanced user of Photoshop. There is a link and a coupon code to save a bit of money in the description of the video. Check it out. <laughs> have you learned something new today, Nigel? I have, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> From the amazing mass he's taught me that if you breathe, in front of the lens. I think this was, I don't know whether he knew this either before today. <laughs> <laughs> this might have been something that he came up with, but it's a good idea and it creates a little bit of mist and it's good where the bright bits are. Yeah, completely fake. <laughs> completely fake. Yeah. How do you feel being here with me? Oh, it's amazing. I'm glad that you've got to see this woodland because I come here quite a lot and there's a few things actually. One, one thing is it's great to show at you. But I'm a little bit disappointed that we've got these conditions. I mean, it's nice, isn't it? Because the sunlight looks fantastic. But then you found so many compositions that I've missed because I'm like, oh, the conditions are awful, la, la, la. And you're like, this looks good, this looks good. And then you show me the photos and I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> so I should look more. That's what I should do. Everyone should take advice like that. You just, you, there's always something in front of you, isn't there? Yeah. That you miss. I, I think we also have a tendency, just also, at, as you said, like we, we steer ourselves blind on the woodlands that we have got used to. So, yeah. in a way, like we get used to them and it's like, yeah, that's probably not. Yeah, because I just want the best there. conditions. Yeah. But even in conditions like this, there's amazing photos to be had. Yeah, um, exactly. yeah so it was good. I really yeah. enjoyed it. I just saw, like, over here, there's a composition there. The light is awful. Just do with fog and woo! It's yeah. good. Yeah, this is gorgeous here. Really beautiful. I'm really satisfied with the with some of the photos I got today. Good. Even though we we didn't had mist, we had a bit of atmosphere. Beautiful light. Gosh, isn't Pebbles just the cutest dog ever? And seriously, how much can a dog actually look like its gender? There's no doubt that she's a she. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this week's relatively short video. Next week I'll casually just release my longest and best video on this channel, along with some of my all-time best landscape photography. So there's something to look forward to. Be sure to check out my ebooks and Photoshop course via the link in the description of the video. See you next time. You do not want to miss that one. Wow.